watch this film. I haven't watched it all the way through for many, many years. I'm sorry. Oh, hi, how are you? And I have to say, I'm, I'm newly married and my husband watched it for the first time all the way through tonight. So, that's just special for me. Uh, I'm, I'm so touched. I saw John Waters the other night and I know he wasn't in town to be here, but it really is... It's, it's, it's words can't even come to mind of how powerful it is. This little movie we made when I was 18 years old in 1988 and the impact that it's had, the career that I've had because of John Waters discovering me for this part and the fact that it's lived on in all these other, uh, you know, musical and musical movie. It's just, it's just thrilling and amazing. And I love that you guys all turned out and enjoyed the movie. It's, it, it, it's thrilling. So John, thank you for including me and inviting me to be a part of this. I want to. I want to ask you a couple questions. You guys want to? Do, do you mind? Tell me. Tell me how you got cast. You were unknown, and you got cast in this film as an open casting. What What happened? I was a. I was a freshman at Ithaca College in New York, upstate New York, and I heard about a local audition they were having in New York. Where they wanted a fat girl who would who could dance, and I thought, well, I'm definitely fat. I don't know about the dancing part, but um, but I could probably fake it. And so I just went to the open call. I met John Waters at the first audition. He called me back, and it's 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 in my book. But I you know went to the call back, and there was another girl there that was more perfect physically for the part, but she had a speech impediment. And so, sitting with her in the waiting room, I, I thought, okay, this is the lead role. She has to actually speak. So I think um, I, if I can just pull it off in the dancing, I can, I'll have it in the bag. And the dancing, the dancing is so incredible. It's so authentic. It, was there a choreographer? How, did you know how to do the Madison? How, how did you learn this? I, I think I really still don't get, know how to do any of those dances. I just faked it. It was all about attitude. It was all about believing I was the best. Um, Ed Love was the choreographer. He was amazingly patient with me because I was twice the size of all these other girls. These girls were like 14 years old and not developed, and I was 18 and over 200 pounds. He was, oh, thank you, thank you. And <laughs> Ed, Love, Ed Love unfortunately died of AIDS. And in fact, watching the film... So many people have died um, from, you know, Divine died eight days after the movie came out. I mean, literally, it was, it was we came out in February of 1988. He died early March, and he didn't get to live to see the success of the film. And for me, you know, I became famous and, and, and got all these incredible accolades from it. So it was this mixed bag of emotions, you know, for me. But it was, it was a summer I'll never forget, and I'm so, so grateful that it's had this, this amazing impact on people. One, one last question. Can you tell us tell us about meeting Divine and working with Divine? And... Well, Divine didn't like me at first because he wanted to play both parts. So he did not want a real teenage girl playing the teenage star. Um, so, you know, it took him a little while. He, I tell people he did teach me how to walk in high heels. You know, I, I, we were practicing once and I was wearing this, the shoes and he said, no, 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 you do it like this. And he showed me and I did pick up some pointers from him. Um, in the end, we became great friends and I, he was such a consummate professional. Um, did never complain. He would wear those heavy wigs and he would sweat profusely. He always wore a giant shirt that said smile on it. He had it in like five different colors and he was, he was amazing. I mean, I, I really, he, that whole, this movie making experience opened up my world in every way and I'm so grateful to John Waters and to everyone that was a part of this film and I'm so glad it lives on. Thank you so much for coming. It has been an honor truly to be a part of this tonight. Thank you, John. Thanks, Ricky. Give it up for Ricky Lake, ladies and gentlemen. Ricky Lake. Thank you so much for coming out.